So Ross, what's your, what's your thoughts on the game and how it all played out tonight? Yeah, you always come um, to the game anxious. You got very uh, tough competition in the AFL, so <clears throat> we thought we had a good week of preparation. Um, we spoke internally about what our expectations are and what we need to do to get ready for the game. So the, the group's been really good at focusing on preparation um, and, and giving ourselves the best chance to play well. So that's uh, that's been really pleasing. Um, we we scouted Gold Coast hard. We watched them against Essendon and saw what they did to Geelong. Um, and they got a lot of talent. So seen it on edge and they really challenged us in the first quarter. But I thought we worked our way through, persisted and persevered and turned the game our way. So there's some really good signs. Um, if I was being critical, I thought we got a bit cute late, some sloppy errors. But in saying that, the, the group have worked really hard as well. So, um, yeah, I thought we were effective going forward, stopped their ball movement, um, challenged their midfield. Um, and in the end, was able to manage Rowan Marshall, tap him out of the game to sort of preserve him a bit for next week. So. Yeah, there's some good things. Our kids continue to grow. Owens and Caminiti, I thought Philippou, Wanganine. Um, but our leaders stood up again, didn't they? Like Wilkie and Ross. Their ability to, uh, I suppose Stuart talked about the pressure and the sustained pressure and the elite pressure that St Kilda applied, particularly after quarter time. Those senior leaders you just talked about, uh, Ross. I yeah, so Sinclair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, I mean, their, their form at the moment, are they, they're what? They're, they're form at the moment. Are they playing, you know, as well as I know you've only had them for a brief time, but from watching them for a while, are they playing as well as you've seen them? Yeah, I didn't have that much depth of knowledge on them to be truthful. I, I knew in the AFL, I knew look, Sinclair was all Australian, I think. So he and a B and F winner, right? So you don't fluke those. Um, but he's continued on. He's really impressive. Callum Wilkie is you know, a better defender than I thought he was. I knew he was. But again, he was in the All-Australian squad, I think. So, And, and Seb Ross has you know, been really a pleasure since I walked through with his leadership and his work rates. So clearly Jack Steele's out and Membry's out, a couple of other leaders. But um, they've led the way, but everyone's jumped in behind them, haven't they? So um, my coaching group, you know, Enright, i just got to really accentuate that again, Enright, Harvey. And Hayes have been super, so um, they, they make my life easy, and they've got great relationships with them, and um, they're getting them to the line. And you know, we've put a system together that, at the minute's standing up. It's been challenged, but we're learning, and um, got a really already spoken about a big test, you know, Collingwood on the rebound. So, um, but but we're looking forward to that challenge. We're the last game of gather round. You know, I'm sure plenty will um, migrate over. And um, you know, I'd love to see lots of Saints there, and I'm sure the, the other mob will be there. Um, but it's exciting for us. So you raise that pretty much straight away when you come into the rooms. You, you, you're already looking forward to, to playing Collingwood. When you oh, we, yeah, well, we, we enjoy the moment, get together, sing the song and all that. But, yeah, enjoy tonight, whatever that looks like, I don't know. Well, they've got two and a half days off from here, so they should come in fresh. We'll get to the review. And, we're very process driven. It doesn't, shouldn't change win loss. Um, obviously, your emotions go up and down a little bit, but by the time we see them, we'll be cold and clinical and um, just about the performance loop. It's been such a great start for and oh, those, those kids you spoke about are playing exciting footy, you're kicking big scores. Are you, are you excited by what you've achieved so far? Yeah, can't you tell? <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> I think your fans are pretty excited. Yeah, well, it's all, well, we only exist for our members and fans. The 150th um, last week, we, we exist for our members and fans. We're, we're here to serve them. We're here to compete for them. And our players, you know, got to do the right thing for themselves as well. We're, we're just here to create an environment and help them develop a system that gives them a chance. So, um, yeah, look, I'm really excited. It's a privilege to be coaching AFL Club, you know, working with our media partners like with Fox tonight, so look, it's a, it's a big show and it's a privilege, so um, I never thought I'd coach again, but I'm really enjoying it and um, I didn't think the game would change that much. There's little tweaks, but um, it's really exciting. You had so many injuries um, throughout the pre-season as well, so you came into the season with all these injuries. Did you did you think it would be going this, this well after a month? Uh, I don't tend to predict. You know, I don't work in blocks, I just... Um, I knew we would compete and I knew we could run and work and 
I thought we were putting it together a really good system. Um, but but until you get out there, I think everyone thinks that though, don't they? You know, so um, we we learn a lot against Melbourne. We we tweaked a bit, um, but it's sort of action built confidence. We're, we're confident because we know our we stack our actions and um, you know we've got really good buy in from the group, strong appetite to work, and they're hungry. So that goes a long way in this competition. But well, look, we're going to get challenged. We're not going to go through undefeated. We understand that. But um, based on how we measure ourselves, we're, we're pleased. We throw, we throw, and uh, you said it was just resting the, the, the luxury of having that much of a lead in the last quarter. Yeah, we're going to take them out of three quarter time, but you know, didn't want to be too cute. But um, I thought Moyle really stood up for them, the young ruckman. Um, yeah, you know, two oh six, one oh four. I thought, gee whiz, to come in and hold up his end. And look, I didn't think they, they stopped trying at all Gold Coast. I, I thought they played with really good spirit. Um, you know, we're really wary of their midfield. We know they're a lead in there. Um, Miller, Rowell and Anderson was really good and you got Swallow. They, they've got some high-end high, high end talent, Lukosius and King and, you know, Colin. So, well, so we're, we're really pleased with what we did. Jack Bytel's... Jack Bytel's injury? Yeah, yeah, it's, um, look, we felt sick in the box, to be truth. We replayed in the crowd. We, we thought it was an ACL. Got tangled up in a tackle, but um, it's a high-grade ankle injury, but until we scan it, we don't know. Um, we, we think there's no fracture, so, you know, sometimes they can respond relatively quickly, but, look, it's going to be at least a week, but, um, yeah, well, he was really unlucky, right? Um, yeah, I feel for him. Um, Mitch, Mitch Owens, he's such a he's a young guy. He's only what, eleven games in, but he's he's flying. What have you seen from his development since you since you joined in? Well, he's just someone invests in his footy. He trains really hard. He's a big man. He's powerful, and he competes. Like it's a pretty good tool to have competing. So yeah, we like his competition. So thanks, thanks guys. Thanks so much. Thanks, Russ.